Through the process of natural selection, the traits in a group of living things can shift over time. It can cause plants in a meadow like this one to shift from having mostly pink flowers to mostly yellow. It's not that individuals change their traits. The shift happens through differences in reproduction, and it usually takes many generations. This video will dig into how it happens. For natural selection to happen, you need three things. One, you need a population. That's a group of individuals of the same species that can reproduce together. Two, you need heritable trait variation. These are trait differences that come from differences in genes. We've already seen the yellow flowers trait. Populations vary in lots of other ways too. In this one, there's also a more seeds trait and a big thorns trait. The third thing you need is for some individuals to have a trait difference that affects their chances of reproducing. Since seeds are literally how plants reproduce, more seeds fits the bill. On average, plants with this trait pass their genes and the resulting traits to more offspring. That means in the next generation, the more seeds trait will be a little more common, and plants that make fewer seeds will be a little less common. This pattern continues with each generation. Over time, differences in reproduction cause a shift at the population level. The more seeds trait affects reproduction directly, but natural selection also works on traits that affect reproduction indirectly, especially traits that affect survival. Because if an individual doesn't survive long enough, it can't reproduce. The big thorns trait could work this way. Thorns don't affect reproduction directly, but the plants with this trait are less likely to be eaten. On average, they're more likely to grow up and reproduce. This gives plants with the big thorns trait a reproductive advantage. They pass their genes and this trait to more offspring. Over generations, big thorns becomes more common in the population. Note that no individual plants suddenly changed their thorn size or their seed number. No matter how much they might want or need to, individuals can't change their heritable traits. The shift happens through differences in reproduction. It's all about which individuals pass their genes to the next generation. Most importantly, natural selection has no goal or purpose. It acts on variation that comes about randomly all the time through mutation and allele shuffling. It can only work with trait variations that already exist in a population. Remember, natural selection happens in a population when some individuals have heritable trait variations that affect their chances of reproducing. Anything else is not natural selection.